The day that I graduated from law school, I had no idea where my career was going to take me. I'd never thought about working with Indian tribes in Arizona. And then I was offered a job letting me do just that. And it has been an eye-opening experience. I have seen some really messed up stuff going on all over the state of Arizona. And oftentimes, it is at the expense of the tribes. Sometimes it makes my blood boil, and other times it just breaks my heart. Some of these images are graphic, but I promise you that they are necessary and they could be far worse. Four weeks ago, I ran into an old friend of mine who happens to be a Navajo. I asked about her family and she told me that they weren't doing so well, that her sister had been sexually assaulted by a man who had broken into her home on the reservation. My first question was whether or not the man had been arrested. And she looked at me without hesitation and she said, nothing ever happens when an Indian girl is raped on the reservation. It's like we don't even exist. She said this to me with such heartfelt belief that it turned my stomach. So I looked into it. And right now I'm here to tell you all why she has every reason in the world to believe that when an Indian woman is raped on the reservation, nothing is going to happen. There are over 550 Indian tribes in the United States and 22 of them are right here in Arizona. There are less than 1.3 million Native Alaskan and Native Indian women, and they make up the most victimized group in the United States. On some reservations, Native women are murdered 10 times more often than the national average, and Native women are two and a half times more likely to be raped or sexually assaulted in their lifetime. One out of every three Native women will be raped in their lifetime. And according to Amnesty International, 50% of these victims will also suffer from a much higher level of physical injury and violence during that assault. What's worse, 87% of all of these sexual assaults and rapes are being committed by non-Native men. Non-Native men going onto the reservation for the purpose of committing murder, rape, and a host of other major crimes. The Bureau of Indian Affairs openly admits that 13%, 13% of all of these cases lead to an arrest. Now this is a statistic that has washed over the reservations and some human rights agencies think that it's the cause for 50% fewer reports of sexual assaults and rapes by Indian women. You see, the federal government and the tribes have a very unique relationship. The tribes are sovereign nations. They have their own governments, their own laws, their own tribal police. And the idea is that tribal police will be able to enforce tribal law on tribal land. And that's very true, except in cases involving major crimes, like rape and sexual assault. And tribes have no jurisdiction over non-native men, period. So all of these cases land into the lap of the FBI. The problem is that the FBI isn't present. Their field offices are hours, if not days away. They're understaffed and frankly, unmotivated. And for those few cases that actually make it to the federal prosecutor's office, 63% of them will be denied review. Now the Violence Against Women Act that was passed earlier this year finally includes non, or excuse me, includes native women. And at first, it seemed like tribes were going to have more power. Well, they do. Starting in 2015, tribes will be able to arrest non-natives for protection orders. They'll be able to deal with domestic violence and dating violence situations, but only for non-natives who live or work on the reservation. Tribes have no jurisdiction over major crimes. 13 months later, and my friend's little sister is still waiting to hear from the FBI regarding her case. I didn't know what else to do except to use a forum like this to come out and tell people about what's going on. It was a surprise to me. And I just want to ask for your conversation. I'm asking for 30 seconds the next time that you are out with a friend or a party and just take 30 seconds to talk about this one issue that you've heard here tonight. These women exist. My friend's baby sister exists, but they only exist if we acknowledge it and talk about it. I figured five minutes, 30 seconds, seems worth it and fair. So five minutes, 30 seconds, and whatever it is you paid your ticket to get in here. <laughs>